Hi, welcome to Taste of Melrose in anticipation of the 4th of July, which is coming up. We're gonna do turkey burgers. I make the best turkey burger. It is loaded up with cheese, bacon, avocado, bit of lettuce, and I do a really spicy habanero aioli. Um, and it's open-faced on a ciabatta bun. So it's, um, it's pretty decadent. You definitely need to eat it with a fork and a knife. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my turkey meat. Now I used dark meat, 32 ounces. So like if you go to the grocery store, that's two packages ground turkey. We're gonna take that, get it into our big mixing bowl. Turkey meat's very lean, which is great, but we wanna add a little bit of fat to it. It's about a third of a cup of good quality canola oil. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of salt. Put one tablespoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of onion powder. Pepper grinder, and we'll do probably about 10 to 15 good turns. Just take that right off. Okay, next what we're gonna do, we need to rub this meat down. So we're just gonna get in there with our hands and just give it a good rub. A little massage, it'll thank you later. All right, so I've gotta talk about something that I'm absolutely obsessed with. This is Applegate Organic Sunday Bacon. And these are big, slices. Ooh, love that sizzle. <sighs> I don't know. I just, I'm having a little bit of a love affair with bacon right now. Mm. Tomatoes. Heirloom. We'll just take off. Stop there. Look at that guy. Just gonna dig the core out of this guy a little bit. So we want about half inch slices. Okay, so transfer the bacon over to a ready paper towel. Next is our avocado. So you just take your knife, round it around. How I get my seed out with a little bit of aggression, just a little, give it a little twist and it comes right out. Take the point of our knife and score it down the center, making linear lines. Okay, so we're gonna turn my heat onto a medium low right now. So I am actually gonna use the same pan what I want to do is release a lot of this fat, but reserve some for sure. We're going to take our turkey meat and about six ounces. A little spank, a little spanking. Get it nice and flat. <laughs> and in they go. Probably about five to seven minutes on each side. It's a medium high heat. So as these get all happy, we're gonna start our aioli. Veganese, some Dijon mustard, and this is my little secret sriracha habanero uh, sauce that I found at Whole Foods. Really yummy, so good. So we're in one cup of veganese, or any good quality mayonnaise, and now some Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons, our sriracha. So I'm gonna start with teaspoon. Okay, so we're gonna taste this and just see what our heat level is. It needs more. I'm gonna add another teaspoon. That is gonna kick. Love it. Let's taste that guy. Perfect. So two teaspoons of the habanero sauce. Perfect. To that, I'm gonna add some good quality cheddar cheese. Now, ciabatta is a rustic Italian bread and it can hold a lot of juiciness, you know what I mean? Like the aioli, the tomatoes. This thing is gonna need to hold a lot of baggage. Take how big these guys are. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then I'm just gonna cut it down. So that is what we're toasting. Just kinda cutting off the tops. Okay, so I'm gonna toast my ciabatta in another pan. I'm just gonna do a little bit of oil on the bottom. All right. These guys are done. That's one, two, right. Okay. Just two at a time. Beautiful. A little golden brown. That's all we want. We'll do both sides. Nice. Toasty. Okay. All right. So first, our aioli. Let it get into all the little crannies. Next, we'll take our bacon. So we'll turn them in half. Perfect. Everybody gets their bacon. Next, our burger. 
I love the crunch from lettuce. Like this burger is so decadent. It really needs that fresh, crisp crunch. Okay, now the avocado. So we've already scored it with our knife. Now we're just gonna run a spoon through. Just to pick it up. Yeah, okay, so these are loaded, but now we are needing to add our tomato. So ever so gingerly. Finish it off with a little salt and pepper. Loaded turkey burgers. Enjoy. And happy 4th of July.